good afternoon to one and all today we are going to explain uh, wheatstone bridge principle and uh, what's the intention of uh, having this wheatstone bridge here is in order to measure for the part of medium range resistance we can easily observe the things we are having some four arms r1 r2 r3 and r4 or else rx these four are connected in uh, four arms like this in the shape of thrombus and we are having some uh, dc supply voltage we can easily observe the things the product of these uh, two arms is equal to the part of product of these two arms r1 into rx is equal to r2 into r3 from that we calculate the things of rx this rx is nothing but unknown resistance you have to calculate medium range resistance is uh, in between the things of 1 ohm to few mega ohms going to connect these connections like this r1 to positive to this r1 positive again this r1 negative to this r1 negative same r2 to r2 parts these are the patch cards you are connecting right now r2 in a similar thing r3 positive to red color y2 r3 r3 negative to yeah we have connected all the connections right now and uh, each of these uh, each arm is connected to respect to variable resistance like this r1 r2 r3 followed by some rx there we can observe easily here with the help of some multimeter i have connected uh, one deflection galvanometer in terms here i just used voltmeter just observe one more thing for each step they have given 1 2 3 up to so on of 10 which indicates if i can change one knob that it is 1 kilo ohm if i change this one also there another 1 kilo ohm again this one 1 kilo ohm but we observe one thing here in order to ba bridge balance here we observe there is some reading is there minus 1.84 volts when the bridge is in balance condition means we observe the deflection galvanometer or this voltmeter will uh, observe some reading here as zero then only the potential across this point and this point are equal then there is a same current will flow across this r1 and r3 this one r2 and rx is also the same then we can observe the product of this uh, two arms is equal to product of this arms then we can have this formula if and only if the condition when the bridge is in balance i can change uh, slowly this point here in order to balance our bridge hope you are uh, seeing those values minus it is varying like this slowly vary those things in order to make this bridge balance yeah this one is a condition we observe the voltmeter reading here is zero then we can observe those readings with the help of bring this uh, two wires in order to observe the readings here right now remove these two things and uh, insert this uh, meter what is the value of uh, this unknown resistance change this knob to ohms yeah it's approximately 0.973 how we can have this value here is theoretically we can observe those values with the help of tabular column i applied the values of r2 here is 1 kilo ohm and we are having some uh, r3 is also 1 kilo ohm and this uh, r4 is also 1 kilo ohm the product of all those things is nothing but 1 kilo ohm we can easily observe the unknown resistance here is 1 kilo ohm with the help of this multimeter reading like this this one is a multimeter reading we observe 0.973 is a practical value in a similar thing we observe one more reading also there yeah just observe those things yeah just i want to change one more reading for the sake of uh, easily understanding part 2 and this one is 2 again this one is 2 there is some uh, voltmeter deflection is there observe this voltmeter deflection it's approximately minus 0 point something i have to adjust it in order to bring the center deflection galvanometer to how much zero slowly vary the things
Okay. Yeah, it's approximately 0 0.006. Then remove these two wires and make it here in order to observe the value of our uh, reading. Right now I change it to 2 now. The value may be how much we can observe it there. It's approximately 2 kilo ohms. Then we verify our uh, unknown resistance with the help of Wheatstone bridge. Thank you.